Hi, I'm Mona, and I'm at Harlequin Beads and Jewelry, and I'm going to show you how to do some classic pearl knotting. What you're going to need is silk thread, a pearl needle, which little piece of wire with a loop in the top, bead tips, and a clasp, and of course some pearls and a hat pin. When you're choosing your thread, you want to make sure that it makes a big enough knot not to sink in the hole of the bead. The other thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you have enough thread. You're going to need four times the finished length. So the average necklace, you need about two yards. I thread the needle. These needles, these wire needles, have huge eyes, so they're really nice to work with. Tie a knot at the very end and put your bead tip on. The bead tip is what allows you to attach your clasp. So I'll put my bead tip on so that my knot rests inside of the little cup of the bead tip so that it can reach out and grab the clasp at the end. Everything has to have a knot on either side of it, so now I have to tie a knot on the other side of my bead tip. First I want to show the anatomy of a knot. Pull this through. Where it crisscrosses is the base of your knot. So if you can get that anywhere close to where you're going, you're going to be successful. Let me show you how the knot will move though. If you pull this in, your knot's going to move that way. And if you pull this in, your knot's going to move that way. If you've got both hands in it and you're pulling both ends, you're going to cinch your knot down in the middle. So let's get the base of the knot somewhere close to where we want it to be. Then pull your finger out. I put the hat pin in the circle and brought it close to the bead tip. This is your safety. If you have your hat pin in it, you can usually get your knot out if you don't like where you've placed it. Some helpful things are sometimes if you get a little bubble in your silk, you can pull each string individually. Take your pin out, and I can push the knot down closer with my fingernail, or you can use the next bead in line. I like to put a couple beads on at a time. Push your bead up against that. Tie your knot. Sometimes if you're having trouble getting it tight, I'll tell people to take this bead, get it as close to it as possible, pull the pin out, and pull that bead up against your knot to tighten it down. Sometimes, if you get a little bubble in your silk, you might want to pull each thread individually. And you just keep going until it's the length you want it to be. Well, I've got it to the length I want it to be and I'm going to finish my necklace. I'm going to put the other bead tip on and I'm going to tie a knot. It's going to be rest inside the bead tip. If I get the hat pin in the bead tip it gets it nice and close. The other thing that's really nice about having two threads is that you can take the hat pin out and pull the threads apart like that and it'll push the knot into the bead tip making it really nice and secure. And I need to glue the first and last knot so I'm going to put a drop of glue on that knot and then one on this knot. You could use clear fingernail polish And I'm going to cut. I like to use wire cutters because I can get as close to the knot as I possibly can without cutting the knot. So I don't have any tails that hang out. Use wire cutters to get nice and close. 
cut the thread. And now I'm going to put the clasp on. The object is to get the little nose to tuck itself inside the cup. Sometimes you have to bend it inward a little bit, either that way or this way, in order to, when you press it down, that the nose goes inside of the cup. To the other side. Make sure that the nose is going to go inside the cup. And there you go. Classic knotted necklace. <laughs>